Today I'm framing an interior door in my basement. What you always want to remember when you're framing an interior door is to make the rough opening two inches bigger than the door. So I'm not talking about the door with the jam. Most of us are probably getting pre-hung doors. I'm talking about just the slab door itself. And that'll give you roughly three quarters of an inch gap around the whole frame. Here's the door that I'll be making the rough opening for. And I've marked for two different stud locations. This first stud here is often called the king stud. It's going to be a stud that continues all the way up to the floor joist, basically. This stud is often called a jack stud. These two studs are sandwiched together. This one's only gonna go up to the top of the door, so 82 inches in the case of an 80 inch door. So this stud's gonna carry up 82 inches. Now I set my tape to go right on the line of the jack stud here, and I'm gonna make Now measure and mark the other side of your doorway with the two stud locations, your jack stud and your king stud. Measure your stud lengths, make sure to put a block down first. This first stud was about 90 inches long. Remember to measure down the wall at each stud location to account for the variations in the cement floor. Measure for the stud at the top of the doorway. Start between the king stud and jack stud line and measure over to the other line between the king stud and the jack stud. Mark all your studs and get ready to cut. Make all your cuts. Get ready to build your wall by laying all the studs out on the ground in their correct location. Make sure that the studs line up with their correct location on the top plate. Nail through to your top stud for your door frame. Add a block if necessary. Use a helper. Now hoist up your wall. Put it in place. Make sure your studs are flush with the bottom plate and on the line. Toenail them in. Move to the top. Level your wall and shoot some nails in to hold it in place. If you left your bottom plate long you can cut it out with a sawzall and that's it. You're done with that wall.